Popola said we might be able to find a key fragment in the junk heap. Perhaps we can find a clue at Two Brothers' weaponry. Where'd they go? Get him! Don't let him escape! Robot, P-33. You are an intruder. You must be eliminated. Error. There is something leaking from your eyes. What is 
trying. Who is mom? My creator is also dead. He perished hundreds of years ago. Eight hundred seventy-four years, ten months, fourteen days, four hours, and forty-three minutes. Forty-four minutes. I am incapable of being lonely, or missing others, or crying. Protect you. P-33 is charged with defending others. P-33 will defend Khalil. be tons of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. Oh, wow. Check this out. It looks brand new. Hey, be careful, all right? This place is dangerous. Uh, I'll be fine. Oh, no. Huh? Look out! Huh? The noise of the intruders caused the structure to fail. They should have proceeded with more caution. One intruder has perished. The junk heap. Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. They might know something about this. Oh, hey there. It's been a while. You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. How fares your brother? My brother's been dead for four years. Oh, I see. Please, forgive the question. It's okay. I need to ask you something. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Just rip them up. Uh, okay. 
okay? Never mind then. See you later. Wait! Yes? I recently got my hands on a weapon. A very powerful weapon. I thought you might get some use out of it. Don't we already have this weapon? Shh. These things happen the second time around. This sword has seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper materials. If you'll fix it, I'll get the parts. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. Only the real big enemies on the second basement level have them, so watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. You got it. I'm gonna need some mem- Only the real big enemies on- You got it. By the way, what can I help you with? Come back s- It's a shame about the older lad. He was but a child. Sounds like you went into a dangerous area for the sake of the business. Some pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Well, actually, this is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. It appears we have some free time on our hands. Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well.
Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? E well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. Hey, mister? How come I can't see Dad? I'm sorry for all the trouble, sir. This feels alarmingly familiar. Ha! I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? down the boar, and it looks like you found a boar. They say boars become tame around folks who carry one of those. Apparently, they'll even let you ride around on their backs. <laughs> Sounds like hokum to me. But if you're brave enough, you might as well give it a shot. Worked it out. Shop here more up. Ah, just the person I wanted to. What's up? Our water wheel is on its last legs. This is a wise thought. I suppose we'd all be in trouble. Replacing the act. All right. Thank you. And what? I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. Huh? What's that?
Oh, God. It's over. But What's wrong? Oh, hey, I remember you. You're the ones who helped us out way back when. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? I had a fight with my husband, and he ran away from home. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. But it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's... actually sort of impressive. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but... I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... All right, all right. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. And here we go again. Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red bag. You seen him around lately? Really? Is that couple fighting again? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. I take it this isn't a surprise? Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library. Maybe he went back home. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. Say, you're pretty handsome. Care to buy a lonely woman a drink? Yeah, I'm good. Hard to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. Hmm, what was that? Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? But where are they? kid and who are you anyway were you a passenger on this ship maybe <laughs> hey it's okay you don't need to be scared That couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. feeling well your cough seems better at least check it out I brought you some bread today <laughs> oh easy there jeez you must have been starving 
Well, look, no one's gonna take this from you, so just take it easy so you don't choke on it, okay? So, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. You got a name? Well, this is going nowhere fast. Let's see. Hmm. Louise. Yeah, what about Louise? I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. searched the southern plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. A lot's changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know. The hope, I guess. If you ask me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. Oh, hey. It's you. What's up? You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah. He's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asker. I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. What's to figure out? One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. Whatever you say, Vice. Hey there, Louise. Say, where'd you get that red bag? Mm -hmm. Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about everything. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today, but I did bring you something. Here, it's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. What do you think? Pretty nice, huh? 
Huh, what's that on the floor? Oh, it's a mirror. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Let's go ahead and check out your new look. If you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you want to see? Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all this time in the dark, huh? <laughs> well, it's not like we can have you stay here forever. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. How's that sound? Hey, Postman. Oh, sorry. You're not him. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. Anyway, you here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off, so I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <laughs> sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about. Hey, Louise. I brought your food for today. What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? Huh. You haven't been eating much lately. Are you okay? Well then, let's try this. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's called a song. Humming a jaunty tune is the best thing for putting a spring in your step. Songs are like a little bit of wisdom that makes the tough times easier. I love them personally. I mean, not that I'm any good at singing. Oh, your voice is a bit rough there, but you're actually pretty good. <laughs> you know, I knew someone who lived in the town lighthouse before she died. She used to hum this same song a lot. I heard it every time I stopped by to deliver something, and I guess it just kind of stuck. Of course, that was quite a while ago. <laughs> Hey, are... are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> you are a kind soul, Louise.
I'm sensing some really weird magic going on here, Sunshine. You feeling it too? Yeah. Is it... a shade? <laughs> Are you actually trying to think something through rather than just jumping in and killing? What's wrong, Kaine? Nothing. It's just... I'm sensing a presence from Seafront. Something like a shade. A shade in the town? That's not good. A shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. <laughs> 